So a new um, option has been rolling out for Google Docs called Approvals. You can find it under the File menu, and here's where approvals are. So what I've done is I've written an incident response plan. Well, I haven't actually. ChatGPT did it for me uh, to make this a little faster. Um, but basically, I'm going to make sure that before this goes live, I want people to approve it. So under File Approvals, this little side window to the right uh, opens up where I can make a request for an approval. Uh, once I do that, I'm going to add some people to the approvals list. So I'll add an admin. Uh, I can add a little message if I wanted to and add a due date. So if I choose like end of the week, uh, uh, automatic um, and we'll do end of day, which is closer to like 4 p.m. in schools. Um, we can make sure that once that due date is there, uh, notifications will be sent automatically from Google for those people. So if the admin hasn't approved yet, they'll keep getting that message. Um, I can allow my approvers to edit the doc or not just comment on it, for instance. And I can also lock this file. So if this is like school board policy or something where I don't want anybody to look at it until the approver or approvers uh, have approved it, then I can lock the doc. Then I can send the request. That basically locks down my document. Uh, on my side, it goes to the approvals. Um, obviously, it'll ask, does someone need access first, making sure they have edit or comment access, and then I can quickly say send. Now, on that opposite side, now the file's been locked, so I can't get to it anymore. But if I minimize this window and go over to the admin account, uh, and open it up. That's what they get to see on their side. If you take a look at that again, new approval request, and it shows the due date. Um, it's saying who it came from, who's the approver or provers, if there were more than one. And then the person can go through, read the document. Of course, they can add some comments and things like that and approve, reject, or view details. Now, one thing to note, if there's multiple approvers, if somebody makes an edit before you approve it, or even after you approve it, uh, all the approvers have to go back in and approve it again. So for instance, if there are four approvers on the chain, uh, three out of the four principles, for instance, approve it, one of the principles makes an edit, all four principles now have to go back in as approvers and reapprove the document because it has changed. And therefore, um, you'd want that to happen rather than people approve something that's now have been changed. Does that make sense? So I can go through, I've read it, I'm going to approve it. Uh, everything looks pretty good there. The approval details will pop up as part of the document. Um, I can even do an approval request, um, but I'm just going to approve the doc. And if I jump back over to my other side and reload, you will see that now the document has been um, back to edit from the originator's post. Um, and I can go through and make sure that everything is approved. So approved version, this is the last approved version and editors now can unlock to make edit. So I can go up to here and unlock the file if I wanted to and make edits if I want to or pass it along and now share it publicly or whatever um, the intended audience of the document is. So that's doc approvals. I, I kind of like it. It doesn't quite show a full workflow yet. You can't do one approver has to make an approval before the next, but at least you can lock a document before it's approved and everything goes live. So it could be very handy in education.